We're speaking with Glenn Corey. He's the CEO of Sino Gas and Energy. That's an Australian company, but they are focused on developing unconventional gas assets in China. Do I have that correct? Indeed. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about your company. Sure. Um, Sino Gas and Energy, we're Australian listed, ASX listed. Um, we're market cap's about 250 to 300 million dollars. Uh, we've got two PSCs in the order space, and which is approximately 500 kilometers from Beijing. We've got a very ga a large gas resource. Um, it's equivalent to the likes of Pluto uh, Wheatstone in terms of scale. It's about four TCF of gas, um, and we will be developing that resource in the coming years. We've just started pilot production from the assets um, in November last year, which is very exciting. Um, and we will be um, slowly ramping up production this year. We're effectively one of only four um, international EMP companies that are able to say they're producing unconventional gas resources in China. It was a bit of a gamble going in there in the first place, wasn't it? A bit of a, a risk uh, taking on that project? Sure. Um, you know, China is not for everybody. It's a, it's a, it can be seen as a fairly challenging environment. Um, but the company was founded back in mid-2000s, uh, 2005. Um, and opportunistically, a, a number of um, a, a few of our founders um, were uh, fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. Um, when Chevron and Texaco merged, um, these assets um, were released from their portfolio, and, and our founders have effectively picked them up. Okay. Um, Chinese gas prices have been uh, mostly unaffected during this oil collapse. Um, so, what a, what is that? Uh, what effect is that gas pricing having on your uh, projects and your, your plans going forward? Look, we've been very lucky. Um, with oil prices, in the, last, in the last 12 months, oil prices have declined approximately 40% or 50%, close to 50%. Um, the China gas price has actually gone up 30%. So we've been the beneficiary of this in that our um, stock price has held ground. Um, and if we compare our stock price with our peer group and we on the total calendar year, 2014, we've been down only 3%. Um, the oil price was down 49%. Our mid-cap peer group, ASX listed, is down uh, ab about 40%, and the, the rest of the China unconventional players are, are down about 35%. So we've fared very well. Um, the outlook for the gas price in China is probably to hold steady in amongst the declining prices, but we're very encouraged by price reform, and I think we'll continue to see prices hold steady or even rise in the future. Are you doing anything to try and uh, future-proof your company to make sure you can you can maintain that stability with all this volatility going on? Yeah, well, we've got now we've got revenue coming through, so that's that's important for us. Um, we're well financed, so we can see the rest of the year out um, with our current financing arrangements, both cash and, and available credit. Um, we are well positioned. Um, we're getting very strong pricing, nine dollars fifty at the wellhead, which is exceptional when we're costed our cost of development is about uh, $2, so our margins are very high. Um, so we've got, um, as we ramp up production, we'll have more cash flow coming through. Um, we'll be looking at, um, obviously, financing arrangements over the next 12 months to see how we can um, leverage our position of having cash flow on the balance sheet coming through now and, and position ourselves for next year. You said most of your investors are in Australia, but are you trying to tap into the capital markets in Beijing as well and trying to gain some access there? Well, we'd love to. Um, but we've got a very a very strong share registry, and we've got a, a very loyal one as well, and I think it's our stock price performance is testament to that. Uh, we have got some of the biggest funds in Australia on board, um, and... We've, we've got some out of Europe as well and also out of Asia, but I think we can do better in Asia. Um, you know, I've worked in Asia quite a long time and I think the Asian investors understand China very well. So um, if you understand the China model and you understand the China gas market, then it should be a pretty easy investment for firms to make once you understand the asset base and, and, the, and the fundamentals around the China market. These um, oil council meetings are a good place to meet and network and things like that. So what are you hoping to get out of this um, two-day conference here? What are your goals and who do you want to meet? Who do you want to work with um, from here? They're great events um, and, and I've been part of them um, for, for many years now and the team's excellent and I think it attracts a, a great um, cross-section of executives, um, financial institutions, investors. And it's a closed door event, so I think there's a lot of um, open discussion. 
which makes it a fruitful event for, for everyone that attends. Look, we've got um, investors here. We've got potential investors, um, business partners, partners. Um, so there'll be a lot of networking, as usual, um, and hopefully some, some deals along the way. You're focusing on China right now. And yep. do you expect that to continue to be your focus, or do you expect uh, down the line that you might be able to branch out into other parts of Asia? Look, China's our core. And our assets are very good. As I said, we've got a, a, an excellent asset. It's a, it's a tight gas asset right next to Beijing um, at, at an exceptionally low price and very good a cost and a, a very good price. This year is about building out that project and fundamentally it's focus on the business, growing it um, organically. Um, and, that, and that's what our work program is, is aimed to do. Look, given the situation in the energy markets at the moment, in particular the oil markets, then um, there is, who's, I guess we're keeping an eye on that. Um, companies that have got a large amount of debt on their balance sheet uh, are feeling the strain. And I think there will be opportunities over the coming 12 months, 18 months, if oil prices stay at this level, um, for companies to, to consolidate. And I, you know, we're, we're very focused on the business, but if opportunities arise, then we'll have a very good look at them. Okay. And, uh what else do you plan to do while you're here in Singapore? Will you be uh, getting out and about and, and maybe seeing what is actually happening in the oil industry here in Singapore? Well, like I said, we've got, um, uh, I spent a lot of time here um, previously. I worked with Tomasek and, and Shell in the past here, so got lots of friends. Um, so there'll be a lot of catching up, and, um, but there'll be a lot of um, business discussions for sure, um, heading back on Thursday. Okay, great. Glenn Corey with Sino Gas and Energy, thanks so much for being with us. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed.